and welcome everyone to another I had no idea today a video that has to be made loot boxes are out so I'm not going to keep it too long uh, this video is going to be sped uh, to 1.5 uh, times speed so it's not going to, to be too boring I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes just my take on the loot boxes I personally uh, enjoy World of Tanks enough to spend about 200 pounds a year on Christmas and for this event I have about 10,000 or 9,000 uh, gold uh, left over from last year's event so my intention is to get 15 uh, boxes first then use 9,000 gold uh, to re-roll them see how much uh, use can we get out of this and if we're not too lucky with this we are going to buy another 15 uh, so that is going to be a maximum of 20 pounds spent in my case but also 10,000 gold which I got from uh, the repeated uh, premium tanks that uh, turned into gold from last year's Christmas event. This is how I uh, support the game. Uh, I want this to be really clear. We're all adults and I will not judge everyone, anyone who wants to spend or not spend any money. Uh, we all make those decisions. I play World of Tanks for about six to seven hundred hours a year uh, for the last 13 years so for me to spend 200 to 250 pounds a year on this title uh, works for me i get my money's worth uh, even though i don't support uh, wargaming's full practices uh, but this is not the discussion i want to go into so in the comments uh, let's keep it civil let's not uh, get into the drama and uh, hate and all that kind of stuff uh, it's just a video game if you guys feel like you want to support the game, support the game. If you don't feel like you, you want to support the game because it's uh, so far from being perfect, uh, this is also uh, entirely up to you. What do you do with the game? You can play it for free, you can play it with support, uh, making it easier. Uh, but on the video, uh, the first premium tank we got was the STRB-81, uh, which is the Centurion tank. Uh, couldn't care less about it. My only goal, because if you decide to go for those load boxes, you have to ask yourself a question. Why do you do it and what you're expecting out of it? Uh, I didn't really have uh, much expectations other than I have excess gold, which I wanted to flush before um, we get to the Christmas boxes, uh, because those are always the best value. These boxes are not great value. Uh, what I wanted to get is this. Uh, games in the Waffentrager in 1E100, uh, which I personally uh, quite enjoy. It's a very tricky tank to play. The next video is going to be about it. Uh, I was only hoping I will not get Jack Tiger prototype. I just don't want to have it because I will then be forced to play it because I like, you know, marking things and uh, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be just hurting playing it. It's too slow for my liking and it's just a copy-paste of an already existing vehicle. Second premium tank we get is the K2. Uh, quite chuffed uh, with this, I didn't expect to get it. Uh, so, to uh, bring you up to speed, the tanks I don't have is the K2, the STRV, the Jack Tiger prototype, the uh, Panzer, uh, what's the, name? the the T3 Jaeger, and I also don't have the 283, but I do have 283 rental. Uh, that gave me an impression that the tank is okay, uh, but I'm not. It's not that I want to have it. Uh, those uh, Waffen Trigger games is pretty much what is the best value for me. Uh, it's pr probably quite an unusual uh, approach, but this is pretty much. It. I have all the other premium tanks, so my gambling here is, uh, to be honest, quite uh, easy because. The tanks which I can get are the tanks I want, other than the uh, tier 9. So, this is the uh, K2 tank, uh, extremely well armored vehicle, which uh, I'm quite, uh, quite excited about. I want to see how it works. I know the gun is awful on it, uh, but with this uh, silly armor, it's crazy. And the S1, uh, sorry, STRV 81 is just a Centurion tank. Uh, I will probably play it just because uh, I like underdogs and I enjoy playing underdogs and this is definitely one of them. And this is my um, <laughs> Waffentrager in uh, Alfie 100. Uh, when the time tank got removed from the game, I was at 88% mark of excellence. I only got this tank just before it was removed, so I played it like 160 times. Uh, but what they did this year is they gave you, last time we had a chance to play it, you had to retrain your crew 
to play. That was awful. And uh, this time they did something even stranger. Uh, they gave you the crew with the tank, but you can't progress the skills on this crew and you can't um, change the skills. And the skills are awful. <laughs> so it's a little unfortunate. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. You can't move the crew uh, from another tank into the Waffentrager, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So, uh, the quick setup for the Waffentrager if you want to play it, because the tank is extremely difficult to play. Trust me, those YouTube video uh, videos that you see with the tank are not representative of how hard this thing is to play. So I am going full in on accuracy because you cannot afford to miss a shot. Aim time is good, there's no need for rotation. So you need hit points, accuracy and mobility uh, because this is pretty much uh, bread and butter of this tank. You, Because you have a limited amount of battles in this game, I strongly recommend shooting just gold. You are playing this thing for the extreme score taking every advantage you can uh, get to have uh, any use out of it, because trust me, it's hard to play. So I got my accuracy down to 0 0.23 with all the bells and whistles, making APCR number one shell. Don't be afraid to do it. This is uh, just for your extreme scores. So uh, that was the first 15 boxes with all the rerolls. So we've used up all the excess gold we have. So it was 9,000 gold and 15 uh, boxes plus all the rerolls uh, gave us two premium tanks. Uh, luckily, we didn't get the Yak Tiger prototype and on to the next 15. Uh, which So at this stage, I knew that I have 17 boxes to open until I get a guaranteed premium tank. So I thought I'm going to uh, open the 15 boxes and reroll twice just to get that last premium tank. So from my possible choices, it will either be Panzer 3 uh, Jaeger, uh, so T3 Jaeger, uh, Jack Tiger prototype or 283. I'm not excited about any of them. Uh, I think the Jaeger is probably the best uh, of the bunch because of the accuracy, but it's not, it's tier eight at best. It's, uh, but it makes bonds, so hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so this is also the sped up version of the uh, 15 rolls so i don't plan to keep you uh, watching this for too long i don't want to be that kind of channel that has a half an hour long video about just rolling the boxes this is uh, not the whole point uh, as for the other uh, possible choices to which you can get in those boxes uh, all of them are awful <laughs> there is pretty much uh, nothing special about them sure credit boosters are nice uh, but for the amount of money you pay for them this is definitely not worth your money, uh, in my opinion. There are so many uh, better, so many more better things that you can get uh, in this game for your money uh, that this is just not worth the time, I think. Uh, considering the fact that it's pretty much Christmas in two months, I'd pretty much just hold on because there's nothing exciting about this. Uh, for majority of people, but if you're like me and you like uh, the only things, and we get the T3 Jaeger. Uh, so happy with that, uh, very happy it was not the Yacht Tiger prototype. Uh, so how do we plan on uh, getting this thing set up is because the crew layout is awful, not resembling anything like any of the other um, German tank destroyers. As you can see, this is my lineup of tank German tank destroyers and none of them have the same crew layout. So you, if you want to be competitive or if you want to play this tank long term, you're pr pretty much... Uh, forced to use your uh, crew from Battle Pass uh, seasons, which already have so three uh, Brothers in Arms and probably two uh, skills already trained. This is your best shot. Maybe the third crew member you could bring in from another vehicle because it's just the driver. Uh, but then, keep this in mind, if you do that, you are not going to be able to use crew books because to use the crew books for the entire crew, the entire crew has to come from one tank. So I originally set this up with the driver from my Gorilla, but later then later I've changed it onto a unique driver designated for this vehicle as well, uh, just so I can use crew books to improve my crew skills. Uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. We have no choice here. Uh, if we want to play um, like this, we have to play the game we are given by Wargaming. So nothing uh, to say here. Uh, as for the crews, I am going to uh, pretty much make it an all-rounder. I'm not going to improve uh, accuracy anymore because accuracy is already uh, decent. 
Uh, the tank could use a mobility boost, but then you risk uh, into missing out. It has bad view range, so I think I'm going to run coated optics. I am probably going to use a vent, and I will most likely use a rotation device because the bloom uh, when you move the tank is quite big. Uh, so this is my initial setup. I'll play some games and uh, give you the feedback on pretty much the video after the um, the baffle. Uh, but other than that, uh, not an exciting event in my opinion, uh, but an event nonetheless uh, gives us something to do uh, before Christmas. Uh, crazy uh, period. So that's pretty much it. Um, can't wait to uh, try it out. Uh, I'll let you know what my opinion is about it and uh, yeah, definitely wait for the video coming. And that's pretty much it for today. Let me know what you think about the event. Uh, are you as uh, underwhelmed as I am? Uh, you probably are because well that's the uh, opinion <laughs> so far about them. Uh, but I'm curious as always so let me know and I'll see you in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you'd like to see some more, check out one of these two, and if you're waiting for fresh content, stay tuned, I'll see you soon.